All right, so I'm back. Uh, let's see, we've done, so I've made some graphics. I'll go over these real quick. Um, nothing fancy, nothing nothing extreme. Uh, simple triangle, so I can uh, show you basically pick any other color. And you can see it's just a triangle, again, with just a simple glow around it, and I can change that to the same, and boom, there's your, your glowing triangle. Nothing too fancy. Um, made a little donut circle, so... Um, and on here, it's pretty easy to make with fireworks. I'm going to zoom in and uh, I can show you the radius. You can just change that how, however you want. But uh, I chose that. And that's our little donut guy. I think that's going to be a reward. I put him in as a friend. I don't really have any objects to put in yet. but uh, So that's just kind of the, how I went through it. It was pretty, pretty simple. Made some more little dots um, to avoid. And we may make different things out of these. They may not end up being enemies. I don't know. Um, for the actions, so I told, put these in as actions. I'll go ahead and drag one over so we can see that. Put that in as an action here. And get this out of the way. And then if I come over, let's roll this up and go into actions. Now we can see we have an action in there. We can select it and we can say, what's the action type? We can say it's worth a coin. It'll kill every enemy on the screen gives the player invincibility so it's this is basically an action is is basically kind of like a power up or you can also use it and this is pretty powerful and also pretty dangerous is uh, to change the gameplay so if you choose gameplay now you scroll down and you're gonna have a bunch of new options basically everything from the settings and gameplay advanced gameplay all of these settings are now available for you to change just by touching by the players touching this this coin right here so that is what I mean when I say it's it's dangerous because it doesn't work 100% right. Um, it's quirky at best. You can change the time to, uh, where is it? There's a time duration up here. So you can change the duration to 10 seconds, but it, all, it doesn't always go back the way it was supposed to be. Um, I had a lot of trouble using this, a lot of back and forth with support, and uh, I never got it working right. That was three months ago, and I'm still using the same version of BuildBox. So um, it's not going to start working for me magically. So I'm not even going to try to use that on this game. But if it did work, it would be awesome in the fact that like, I could change the uh, game direction. I could say, OK, I was going up. Now I want to make the whole game go right. And uh, you know, it would open up a ton of possibilities. But it doesn't work, so it might as well not be there. Um, but the other things do work OK. Um, so you can set checkpoint. You, can make, you could turn this into a checkpoint. And then when the player dies, uh, they'll come back to that checkpoint. You could make it skip to the next checkpoint. You could use that to kind of make like portals and stuff. Uh, some, some cool stuff you can do. Uh, but for now, let's just say we're going to make it a coin. We can come down here. We can say we can give it a value of 10. And it'll show it. So it'll be a little uh, uh, number will pop up on it when we grab it and show that, yeah, you got 10 points. Uh, I don't usually like to do that, make them all worth one value, and uh, if they get them, they get them, and they should figure out how much they're worth, or you can put it in the info with what they're worth, but to have those little numbers popping up every time, it's, it's a bit of a pain in the butt. A little bit annoying. I see something here. Okay, I'm trying to see my time. Tracking. Uh, you can add sounds to it, so you can make like a cha-ching when you get it, or, or whatever. You can uh, also make it an animation, so you can put an action animation in here. And then you can say, is that animation uh, attached to the character, to the actual power-up position, or do you want to make it go full screen? So if you put an animation in here that made it, uh, well, here, I'll make a quick example. We can, I'll drag two, here, you didn't see that. Hang on one sec, let me delete that, yes. I can come over here and I can drag both of these into that there and watch this. So now we have, uh, and we can edit that, uh, although you can't do anything to it, but you can see here that there's those two colors in there and we can change the speed, we can change that to 0.5 to slow it down a little bit. We can play and you can see it flashes back and forth. The duration is two, two frames, close that and now we have that there. I don't have any sounds to throw in there, but we'll just leave it as is. And then we'll go and we'll play. Boom, you can see it, because right, I don't know, you might not have seen that, but it was attached. So we'll change that duration. Where's the duration here? It is. So we'll change that to four seconds. Um, and 
that time it's attached to the character so whenever the character gets it you'll see the character start flashing and you can see it's set as an overlay so we can set it as replace let's do that again and now it'll replace the character so there you go kind of cool uh, some good uses for that if you wanted to give them like invincibility and replace the character with an animated character uh, something to that effect you can do it uh, let's do let's choose full screen and that'd be kind of neat can't get these right all right got it there the full screen and that's full screen so i mean you can use that to block the view of a character you can make it a bad thing to get one of those and like ah, i can't see where i'm going and, and the user dies um however you want to use it power up will just be that it shows up where the power up was boom and you, i don't know if you saw that or not but the power up actually changed colors it replaced the position of the power up I'll try to get a little sooner this time there it is and that's the gist of it. You can have it do single or looped. Obviously, you want it looped if you're going to do a duration of four. But, I mean, you could time it to do something very, very, very specific if you wanted. And uh, so that's kind of the, the actions and power-ups. I'm just going to leave it po coins right now. Maybe we'll use kill all enemies later. But this was just kind of to demo it and show you what all is possible within the actions section. So, <clears throat> quick recap. You can see we've got characters. Um, which we've used as a character. We've got objects, which we've created as objects, and those can be, uh, there's, a, there's still a lot of options into those to go, but you can see the basics of that. And then actions, effects. Uh, we haven't really messed with effects, so I'm gonna go ahead and play with that a little. I haven't gotten too deep into these effects. I know like Phases and a couple of the other games use these pretty heavily. I tried using them a couple times and I didn't have great luck with them, and so I just elected to leave them out. Um, but we can play with them. Let's see a trail. We can put a trail here, and then I do know that you can attach the trail to the object by going to uh, let's see, double alt on Windows, and it, you can see it brings up this linker mode, and I can link it to that, and I can move it a little closer. I can put it right on top. Actually, send it back, and there, put them right on top of each other. But actually, I don't want that yet because I haven't added an image to this guy yet. So over here for an image, and again, I haven't created any graphics for this yet. So I'm just going to use something I have from here. Let's do, let's see, characters maybe. I'm going to take the character one, that white ball. I'm going to drop that in there and make that his trail. Um, so he'll have a white ball trail, and he has a white ball. I'm not sure how it's going to work out, but we'll go start with... Let's say 25, end width 2, speed, I'm not sure, 100. These are just kind of arbitrary numbers. There's no real definitive what they actually mean as far as I know. Um, I just always kind of pick and choose and guess and then push play and see if I like it. And if not, I change it. So that literally did nothing for a trail. That's fine. Let's see, wave height, 20. Wavelength, 300. Let's see if that does anything. Nope, nothing. Maybe we need to change the the image. Let's do, I'm going to come into Fireworks real quick. Let's say Control N for new. We'll do uh, 250. No, we'll do, let's see, 30 wide by 200 long. Come in, I'll zoom in a little there, control scroll wheel in. I'll take a rectangle tool. I'll come in here real quick. Take it like this. Click the A button. Okay. Squeeze it in, make it look kind of like a, a trail of some sort. Boom. And we'll make it white. And then we'll save, Control shift s we'll go up, we'll change it, we'll put it in the trails. Trail 1, enter, and now we can bring this down, get out of here, bring this back over, we'll find our trail 1, drag that in, boom. There's that. Let's see what that does. Well, 
That is just being sucky. Uh, let's see, play with some more settings here, see if that does anything. I am not understanding why this isn't working. Let's go check, make sure they're linked. They're linked together. Oh, maybe I linked them the wrong way. Let's see. Delete. Maybe I link from that to that. And that'll do it. Yep, that's the way to do it. But it still looks horrible. But you can see uh, that it does work. Let's see how we can fix this. I'm gonna leave it offset just a hair for now. Um, let's see, start with 50, end with five, speed. We'll change that back to, what was the default, 100? I think the length was like 100 wave height. We'll say five, wave length, 150, and see how that works. Play. And that's still gonna need some serious work, but yeah, you get the idea. I hear build, build blocks too is supposed to make this, uh, I don't know about easier, but you're supposed to have some, some pretty significant uh, enhancements with this. So we'll say, let's make this longer. Let's make it 300 long. I think that'll help. Wave length. We'll make that uh, 50. I think I'm getting, I think I know what that means now. No, maybe not. So that'll clearly take some playing with, but you get the idea. And go ahead and close that. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that, like I said. We, I'll play with that some more later. I'm not a big fan of it, but I'll delete that for now. Uh, next we got, and uh, let's see, I didn't really point out the lights there. And you can see that that doesn't really, the light doesn't do anything much. Right, let me go duplicate that and make a couple quick changes. Let's make that a little cooler. Get out of linker mode. Okay. Select on that radius color cast shadow. That's going to make it look cool. Let's duplicate that and go over here. We'll make another shadow. Another one. We'll make this one maybe yellow ish. We'll make this one maybe pinkish. I'm terrible with color choices. I'll come back through. Probably go pick some. Uh, cool color palettes. Um, got a couple places for that, and I'll cover it later if I want to go hit those places, and we'll pick a color palette together and make something that looks cool and not really silly looking with the colors. All right, let's see how this goes. So we put cast shadow on there, and that should work with the character to cast the shadow on that. And we can see here in the character options that we've also selected, or it's automatically selected, cast shadow. So let's see how that's going to play together cool that looks a lot cooler yeah so now what I'm gonna start doing instead of doing all of this on here because that doesn't repeat I'm gonna start doing it all on this one um, the start screen is usually just like your hey get started maybe do um, maybe do a, a, uh, a tutorial a quick tutorial or something so that they only have to see once and then you can start doing these as, as randomized type things so um, we'll go ahead and get all of this within here and okay so here's a, another quick thing to talk about so you got your levels and your selects actually I'm gonna save this for the next video because I only got a minute left but uh, so the next one I'll talk about setting up our scene and how we're gonna play how that's gonna play into all of this but uh, yeah that gets kind of neat that's a little bit complicated but this just kind of the workflow um, for building a game with build boxes is getting different things set up, testing some different things, making sure your environment's the way you want it, tweak it a little before you really get into level design and, and building out the, the levels. Um, but that's kind of it for now. Um, see you in the next one.